away from me. Mr. Downs! Downs! Where are you? Downs! You, uh, uh, whatever do you want? <laughs> Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir, I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? <laughs> Please, I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debt... I'm, I'm not running anywhere. I'm... You are a slippery little bastard, but I got you now. Please, please, show some... Pay the money, you'll make this stop. 
You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Hello? Lovely as always. Susan! Everyone behaving themselves around here? Hardly. Eve! You missing your tree yet? I feel like chopping it down. We'll all be watching you.
You all right? Not my usual self right now. Oh, I know the feeling. Hey, glad to have your Irish friend back. Ah, he's not really my friend. Well, okay then. What is it, Arthur? So, a fella in town recognized me from Blackwater. That's not good. It's okay, though. I dealt with it. Well, I suppose I should be getting on. Okay. Bill. Arthur Morgan. There he is. Hello, Arthur. Arthur.
Butchick Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> yeah. Damn it! Hey! Get back here! You owe us money! Yeah! The more I chase, the more you owe! is real uncharacteristic. I promise.
idea of the whole I'm in. Oh, come on! Why has it always got to be such a goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lessening damn miles. <laughs> You know what I'd do to thieves? Law here hear about this. You've got your money. I Maybe didn't steal alone. that. It's a debt. Oh, damn it. What do you want? Ain't my concern. I've got no. nothing to say to you. Me roped up, huh? You're oh, a son of a bitch. Here. <laughs> Sit tight. You're some kind of pathetic. We're going for a walk. Get. Help! Help! I need help! Let's go for a ride.
You there? Who? Hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. <laughs> Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell him you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from them, neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against them, that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. Stop just there. Now, set it off.
Roger. You want to see him fly? There's gonna be some price on me when all this is done. Price don't matter. It's idiots chasing it. Well, a certain price, you don't get idiots. And we're right here, too. Blow him to chunks. That one. He's going for the game. One more. Yeah, you got them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days, running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight, and that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say, but, uh... Don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that live that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. Hmm. Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> oh, great. Well, you stand over there and... Oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Okay, I got it. Well, I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Well, good luck. <laughs> Whoa. Y familia de Pecos Garao. Will you quit 
Gracious. Greetings. Hey, you there. A quick word. What can I do for you, sir? There's an old gunslinger I'm looking for. I heard he comes through here. Name of Midnight Billy. Oh, that old soak? Yeah, he spends days on board these trains, but he's going nowhere but the gutter. I imagine you'll find him right in the next one through here. Either that or the next one. Try them both. Look in the bar car.
Mr. Midnight? Excuse me, I'm trying to drink. Mr. Midnight, listen, this won't take a moment. I just want to talk with you about your old days as a shootist. Get away from me! Hey! I didn't shoot him in his sleep! No one's I saying that... I didn't shoot him in his sleep, and if I did, it was the only way! Not a problem. I'm here about Jim Boy Calloway, and no one shot him yet. I knew you'd come for me! Get away from me! Mr. Midnight! Uh.
So great, let me tell you. Welcome, welcome. What can I do for you? Ticket for one, please. The theater of Wallure awaits you behind those doors. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists Nothing like it. Anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, 
I have determined the ticket price should be very low. And the show held without a profit, to me, it's true. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. I shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus! and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? Oh. The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught betting my wife. <laughs> I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. <laughs> I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement, but none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalicola off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my head. Oh, here we go. Careful. Yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my god. Oh, sweet What's Jesus. Going on here? Oh, wow. Yeah. That always scares me. <laughs> now, observe. As I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. What is he doing? Let's do that again. Hmm? Alright. Hmm. Oh, I can't take it. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. Oh, damn. <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm ah. to watch the show. And Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival rules. These bullets are 100% real. Wow. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my Did teeth. You hear that? Is no one man enough? This is the best show I've seen. 
Come on! Someone, stand up and take a shot. Okay, okay. If nobody else is gonna expose this phony, then I will. I trust you are a good shot, sir. I can shoot a fly's wings off at a hundred paces. <laughs> Excellent, my good man. Now, ready? <laughs> Take aim. Oh, no, the too much. <laughs> and fire. You're not his teeth now. Gentlemen, death is just an illusion, after all. A feat of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He certainly does me. <laughs> now, I discovered this next remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire. Yes, she does. And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino!
Wonderful! Oh, incredible! It's still hot in here, huh? <laughs> incredible! Bravo! Though I must warn you, court her at your peril. She'll not nurse babies, she'd turn them into bacon! <laughs> Thank you! You stay! Thank you. He liked that joke. Yes. I discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland, where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Koninsky! How about that? for joining us today. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. Yeah. This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to Saint Denis, and they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss, except for the inventor of the telephone, because someone is always calling, saying, Hello! Hello! Hello. Make him play! I've got a little baby, but he's out of sight. I talk to him across the telephone. I can't see my honey, but her. he's mine all right. This gal just can't leave a man alone. Every single morning you will hear me yell. He sends you fix me up along You'll the line. See this. They connect me with my honey and I ring my bell. And this is what I say to baby mine. Yeah, baby. Hello. From Blackwater calling. Hello. This morning through the phone they said he'd been with Bess and told me exactly where he's at. Now I'm headed out of town to his address. That man better hold on to his hat. I sure do worry that the wires might get crossed and it will separate me from my baby. tune. She is a siren, singing from the rocks as men bash into them to their doom. Thank you for joining me for tonight's entertainment. I hope it has delayed for at least a moment the crushing and remorseless misery of this mortal coil. Good night, dream well, and come back soon.
Why don't you come on back tomorrow? I've been covered in worse, Fran. Just had to be me. 